I can't tell you that you have to go and buy this game. I can't tell you that if you buy this game, you're going to have fun. But... Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. We're looking at Street Fighter V Arcade Edition today. Very excited because finally getting a chance to play Arcade Edition, which has Arcade Mode, which was supposed to be there. Well, everyone wanted it to be there two years ago, but we have finally got it now. Street Fighter V Arcade Mode, and if you click on here, you'll see that there's not one, but one, two, three, four, five, six different versions of arcade mode, so it's like, everyone's like, give us arcade mode, and we asked so many times that pretty much for every time we asked for it, we got another version of arcade mode. This is really exciting, but there are two, I guess this is two or five, arcade edition for this game is coming out, and also a character we've been waiting, like two years to come out, I mean obviously we've been waiting for Sagat to come out as well, but because we don't have Sagat yet, we also get this new character, so now you may be wondering why I'm using this arcade stick and not the larger one that I actually bought pretty much yesterday. And the reason is that the buttons actually, one, some of the buttons were broken. So I had to return it. For one week, Sakura is a free playable character. Even though she's actually DLC, you'll have to pay something like, I don't know, $5, $6, whatever it is for a d downloadable character. Normally you would have to pay for this character or to get the season pass, which has all of the characters coming out this season, but you get to use Sakura for free, just because, I don't know, it's like a trial one week period. Wow, I really love, I love the pink swirls that go around her, because other characters have like black swirls or green swirls, and Sakura's got these pink swirls that surround her. That looks awesome. All oh, right, so I've managed the first combo, which doesn't teach me anything about the V-Trigger. Okay, here's the V-Trigger explanation. Haru Arashi is a V-Trigger that strengthens Sakura's projectile attacks. In addition to gaining a stronger Hodoken and Tengu Hodoken, she will gain increased damage. Okay, so the first V-Trigger is just damage. It just increases and she just gets stronger. Okay. Second V-Trigger. The final hit can be cancelled into her V-Skill. Interesting. Okay. Alright, so here's what's going on. I'm gonna activate this one. Okay. So I guess... The Tatsumakis are different. They go a lot faster than normal. Look at that, they like spin really really quickly. And instead I can cancel them as well, because this is a normal one. That's a lot slower. But watch, if I use the V-Trigger version, way quicker. Okay, alright. So let's try cancelling it into this move. Alright, awesome! Okay, so! It looks like this is how the V-Trigger works. Essentially, if I activate V-Trigger, this is going to get faster and more powerful, and also this move as well, the Shoryuken. That gets stronger and more powerful as well. So let's just go into arcade mode first. Let's see, there's Street Fighter 1, but I don't know if that means you can only choose characters from Street Fighter 1. So let's just check the roster. I assume you can't use characters from Street Fighter 5 if they're not in Street Fighter 1. Yeah, look at this, there's only six characters. Okay, so Street Fighter 2, let's hear the music. Awesome! It's like a cool remix of the Street Fighter 2 music, I like it. Anyway, Street Fighter Alpha, now this should have Sakura in it. So let's just go into Street Fighter Alpha mode. By the way, really excited about Street Fighter Anniversary Collection, 30th Anniversary Collection. Oh, check out the music! Oh yeah, I'm not allowed to headbang anymore. Or rather, I, I shouldn't headbang because I did have brain surgery. Anyway, anyway, let's go with Sakura. Let's use her default costume. Sakura. Yeah, let's go. And we're going for the second V-Trigger because that's the only one I've really managed to learn how to use so far. This music. <laughs> and with a really alpha character, let's have Charlie, or Nash rather. Now obviously once you go into the fight it's going to be, I assume, exactly the same as normal. Round one. Yeah. I don't remember this stage. Oh wait! Was this a stage? No, this has been a stage already. Alright, so we're in Street Fighter Alpha mode. Let's see how we can do. Let's see how far we get. 
Okay. Stun. This is a beautiful state. I do not remember it at all. <laughs> Why block? This stage is amazing and it's making me feel a little bit sick. <laughs> when is Street Fighter Virtual Reality coming out? Well, that's interesting. It's asking me to choose whether I want to play Birdie or Chun-Li. I don't remember that from Alpha. Maybe Alpha 1 had this? I don't remember it. Oh wow, they've got Chun-Li in- She looks good. That is a great Alpha costume for Chun-Li. I think they've put a lot of sharpening on the graphics as well. It feels like... It feels like everything's crisper than usual. Alright. Okay. Let's do it! Yes! So, the only combo I've managed to learn is the Tatsumaki into the V-Skill, which I'm gonna use until the game is finished. Oh, this just feels so different to have an arcade mode. Just, just you know, if you just wanna casually play a bit of Street Fighter, waste a bit of time with the computer, but you wanna know like you're going somewhere. Like, with survival mode, you didn't really feel like you'd actually won a match because after you win one round on survival mode, it's like, it's just over. All right. Let's do this. Perfect KO. Perfect KO. Something about survival mode. If you only win once, then any moves that you were trying to do, any moves you were building up super meter for, you never get to actually use. Oh, the wind music is good. All right, this time going for her Capcom Arcade Game Center costume. Just because it looks awesome. Stuff. <laughs> How can they have screwed it up already? Look, her, her name badge is going through her, her shirt. That's just kind of disappointing. But not surprising, because we've seen how Ken's hair has never been fixed. Not sure how I feel about yellow tights. Hmm. Alright, the problem was the costume. Clearly I was wearing the incorrect costume. I couldn't win unless I found the right colour. Obviously this is the right colour. Here we go! Super combo! Yeah! Perfect KO! Dang, that feels good. And with the right colour too. You win. That win music is never going to get old. Really want to use my super combo again. Yes, here we go. You asked for it. Oh no, hold on. Here we go, come on. Yes, super combo finish. That is never going to get old. Alright, so there's some new stuff in challenge mode as well that I think is worth going through. There's extra battle, which I, I think there's also a team battle, but obviously I don't have a team here. Okay. Oh, there's, okay, there's a bunch of different challenges. Okay, there's two different challenges. Get the crossover costume. This one costs 2,500, so you have to gamble fight money that you already own, and hopefully you can win the reward, which is experience points and a costume for Rashid. But this one, it's... Shin Akuma, you just get 10,000 experience. Alright, so I have a lot of fight money to waste, so you can just keep doing it until you win, and I guess people will see that you have won the title. I like that you have to put some money on the table. It does feel a bit gambly, but because you can't buy fight money. You can buy DLC, but you can't just keep topping up your fight money to do this. You do have to play the game in order to get fight money points for this. I, I like that. It kind of makes it exciting, because you don't have to play these. You could just play arcade mode, or you could just play online. <gasps> oh my goodness! What's going on? <sighs> it's gonna be difficult. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, not winning. Oh no! Pay attention! Oh, demon! <laughs> well... Can I just say that I've just noticed it's a 
One match only. You have to beat him the first time. Game over. <laughs> I didn't even come close. Well, <laughs> gosh. this is hype though, and certainly would be fun for YouTubers who play a lot of Street Fighter. They can say, okay, I'm spending the money now, we're gonna see whether I can beat this week's challenge. I am not trying to do that again. All right, actually there is one last thing that I want to do before we stop this. I want to go and I want to buy this stage. Oh, I just pressed the button really, really fast and ended up buying it with fight money. Okay, that's just... <laughs> oh no, I don't want that V-Trigger. Okay. And the reason this whole V-Trigger stuff is kind of important is because a lot of people find that this game is not too exciting to watch because everyone has the same style, but with the whole V-Trigger 1, V-Trigger 2 thing, I think that's going to make a big difference. The players that you watch in the championship matches, you know, they're going to be perhaps a little more interesting because everyone's got their own style and they're going to choose different V-Triggers. But here you go! This is the music from the trailer. Oh man, I'm really into this music. Anyway, hype to see Sakura in her nostalgia costume. This stage looks amazing. Sakura is a great character. Arcade mode means I can finally enjoy the game without having to go online and get my butt kicked. This is going to be so much better. V triggers one and two. So much stuff that I haven't even had a chance to go into that is going to be exciting in this game. But just check this out. It's a lot of fun. Is now the right time to buy Street Fighter V? If you didn't buy it the first time, I can't tell you that you have to go and buy this game. I can't tell you that if you buy this game, you're going to have fun. But I bought it. I'm having fun, and if you have been waiting for a time to get on board, then this is the time that a lot of people will be jumping back on, because there is such a monumental change to the way that the game plays, to, you know, the way characters are being revealed, the DLC and all that, the fact that they've got V-Triggers 1 and 2, all of this is going to make a huge difference, so if you were wondering when was the right time, now is definitely the right time. You're just going to have to see whether this game works for you. I, I, I feel like there's quite a lot to enjoy in this. So I'm just going to leave you with Sakura's super combo, which is super, super epic. Looks great. Nostalgia costume with a nostalgia stage. Sakura in Street Fighter V Arcade Edition. I am so excited. I haven't had any time to practice this, but now after I press stop on the camera, I'm just going to sit here and I'm just going to train and practice a bit like that guy in the back there the uh, sakura's brother in the back i'm gonna be that's gonna be me anyway hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to comment subscribe share the links and all that great stuff and i'll see you in the next nihongo gamer video Yeah.